I got the new Mario Red and Blue Edition Nintendo Switch that comes with a carrying case. And I got the new Cat Mario Amiibo because I just can't help myself. So let's see what's different about this and take a closer look. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Shibby120. I do unboxings and other Nintendo Switch stuff. And I actually like how this is a simple, understated design. And the first time we've gotten a new Switch color. We're definitely gonna be doing some Joy-Con color and system comparisons in this video. Let's go! Ah. Whoa! Okay, so it does have a little bit of an orange vibe to it. I thought it was just pictures and maybe the pictures were off and stuff. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's red, it's a red switch, but it has a little taste of that brighter kind of orange flavor to it. Really cool with the freaking black kickstand and the black vents. You can see right there with the black USB-C port with the screws. And the sides actually have black right there too, just like usual. The headphone jack is still black. And then you still have red here for these buttons as well. Then, of course, you've got the infamous Nintendo logo. And, and that's about it. That just looks really clean. It looks really nice. And I don't know. This might be the best looking Switch yet. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Does this beat out the Animal Crossing Switch? I don't know. I mean, it looks really cool. And we're going to take a look at these Joy-Con and compare them with some other ones. But first, I want to see what else is in this box. It is this lovely case is the next thing that we see. I actually like this case. I wasn't sure if it was going to be the same as the Animal Crossing one. And it looks like it actually is. I think they're good cases. Actually, my first case was a black version of this that I got day one when I got my first Switch. And it gets the job done. <laughs> Look at this. You've got the yellow accents, which is supposed to be obviously Mario's outfit, his shirt, his overalls, and the buttons. Yep. And it's the exact same thing inside. So... Boom, you can put some games right there. It's not gonna fit much, it's gonna fit a couple games. And this one actually has a cool design. It looks like a little designer bag, and it's blue on this side too, which is really nice. You can see it's got actually Mario's face, the glove, the overalls. They haven't packaged in a case before, so this is actually really cool. I like that it comes with it. You don't have to pay 25 bucks for it. It comes there in the box, so that's really nice. If you buy these types of cases separately, it comes with a screen protector. And they've actually thrown that here in the box as well. So that, yeah, that's a good value. You got your HDMI cable, you got your charging cord, and then we've got the red dock, which we'll look at here in just a second. Dude, these have some detail to them. Look at that, that's straight up Mario vibes. These slide onto your Joy-Con to keep them from falling off of your arm. And they also make the shoulder buttons work a lot better when you're using the Joy-Con separately for two player. So I'm probably never gonna use this, but I really love that yellow button straight up from Mario's overalls. That's a really nice touch. Now I wanna take a look at the dock and the Joy-Con grip but I did get that Cat Mario Amiibo, so let's take a look at that first. I don't personally really use Amiibo, but I have a few, just the ones that I think are really, really cool looking. And you know, this was kind of an impulse buy. It was right there, it's really cute. It says, for use with the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, and you can turn into a white Cat Mario. <sighs> oh, he's cute, look at his little smile. I think it's cool. It's hard to do texture for animals. They obviously, they went for the furriness right there and it kind of works. Um, he is really cute in the game. He it does act like a cat and uh, even got has like a little bill there for his hat still. The box just kind of looked like it had like little indentations. But now that I kind of look at it, it does look more like it's got kind of fur. And there are other amiibo as well. So let me know, do y'all have any amiibo? If you have any, let me know in the comments below which amiibo you have. Because I'm really curious because I only have the Guardian from... Breath of the Wild, and I've got a Bokoblin. Now I've got Cat Mario. And just to give you a better look at the Joy-Con color, which one of these do you think is the Mario Joy-Con? It's actually this one right here. So this is the OG neon kind of red that came with the day one Switch. This is the pink, almost like a Splatoon kind of pink color. And this is the red, so the red actually looks kind of muted next to this one. But when I took it out of the box, it really does look kind of orangish. I kind of think the one in the middle looks best, but if it's on the Switch, definitely this new Mario one. Okay, and then we'll take a look at the Joy-Con grip just real quick. This is if you kind of want the controller feel without having to buy a Switch Pro controller, you can just slide the Joy-Con in here. This itself doesn't require any power. It actually lights up using mirrors. So these lights that are on the side of the Joy-Con, whenever you slide it in, it actually shows up right there. So yeah, there you go. You got that Mario blue and red vibe and uh, I'm digging it. 
So I've got the Animal Crossing New Horizons dock and the original dock. So let's see what's different about this new one. You know, it's that same color red as the Switch, obviously, but I won't lie. Some people have kind of compared it to like Fisher Price and I'm definitely getting that vibe. Like kind of kid's toy is definitely the vibe, especially when you start playing with the dock and the kind of that plastic that it is. So we can already see it's pretty much just like the original dock. The Animal Crossing one doesn't have Nintendo on the front, but it actually has it right there at the top. Whereas this one's gonna be more like the black one where it's on the front. And you can see there's black accents there where the switch goes in and the stoppers, the USB there on the side, and nope. Uh, well, these ports right here, and you got black screws, and then the stoppers there at the bottom as well. Also, for reference on the color, if you're still curious, this is the original Nintendo Switch box. And you can see here, they're going for that straight up Nintendo red color. I think this looks really cool. Let me know if you think this beats out the Animal Crossing Switch. I think I'm gonna stick with the Animal Crossing Switch for now for me. If this did have a design in the back, I think maybe I would like it a little bit more, but I love that it's so understated and you don't have to be into Mario to like this. It's just an awesome red Nintendo Switch. For more Nintendo Switch unboxings, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see another one of my videos, just tap that playlist right there or that box on the screen and I'll see you over there. Gosh, the box is coming undone for some reason. It's busting open, ready to be open. I feel like it's Christmas Day.